Mm-hmm. What's going on, everyone? The Players Lounge, Aaron Murray, Ben Jones, Nosha Moreno. Happy Masters weekend. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Happy G-Day weekend. That's what we're here to talk about. We're a bunch of wannabe golfers. No, Sean just got off the course, shot a fresh 88, which I'm still surprised because that swing looks like it's like a low 88, high oh, 70s. Fresh. I will be honest. We saw it a couple weeks ago on the show. Um, but it's G-Day weekend. It's it just unfortunate the timing of G-Day with the Masters. But I will say, being on the call this weekend for the game for ESPN, it was a great crowd. It was a hell of a crowd. Cool. People were excited. Beautiful day. Uh, a lot of people there. I thought the game was absolutely tremendous. So let's start with big picture first. We're going to go to some position groups, guys, that really jumped out to us. Once again, everyone in the chat, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Got a lot of great content coming out at all of our universities this week. Um, And then obviously jump in the chat as well. Ask your questions. And Ben and Noshan and myself will answer them throughout the show here tonight. But first reactions first. Big picture takeaways from G-Day. Noshan, I'll go to you first. No, I thought it was a entertaining game. You know what I mean? I thought the defense was flying around. Um, offense moved the ball up and down the field. Carson Beck looked really good. Um, you know, he had a couple throws that he, you know, he wished that he could take back. But all in all, I thought it was a really, really good day for Carson. The running backs were running hard. You know what I mean? So um, I, th- I thought it was, it was it was a good day, a good day of work, right? Um, mm-hmm. I think the only position that I was like, eh, you know, kind of, don't do, like, don't, do little bit don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, 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 well do not it. crazy. Nothing crazy. Don't it's, not, do it. it's not even crazy. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not even crazy. But but just just the DBs on the outside. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot oh, of okay. I thought, you're gonna I, give shit to, I thought you were going to give shit to your running backs again. I was like, I was about to no, oh, no, yeah, for that. Said, okay. They were running no, that no, rock. I just said that. They were. Them boys were running that rock. The, the running backs were running that rock all night. So uh, all day. So I just thought it was a a, a good G G day uh day. Um, it shouldn't have ended in, in, in 20 in a tie, though, but that was a good day. How, how do you not go for two? I mean, how do you not go for a two-point right. conversion? Yeah, come on, Kirby. Go for two. Uh, ben, big, big overall arching takeaway from, from the game. It's very competitive. They were getting after it, both yeah. sides of the ball. A lot of times in the spring game, you can tell it's, hey, some guys really don't want to be out there. It's kind of one-sided early, mm-hmm. but – it's usually when you have a dominant quarterback like that, it's usually very offensive sided in those games because you can't get after him. The defense came to play. Yeah. That was the question mark yeah. from last year. Hey, can we stop guys? Where are the, where's our normal Georgia defense that we look forward to seeing that year? And they came to play, which mm-hmm. I was fired up. And yes, we th- we took shots and it's exciting football. And your bats, no, Sean. Paul brought oh, the yeah. wood. Mm-hmm. You can, the end, you can mm-hmm. do so much with him. I'm ready. I know that being an offensive lineman coming into the SEC and having a back blocking for no Sean, we look great. And they got two backs now. So I can't wait to see what they can do this year with having two good backs like they have this year. She, they got like four. Sure. I mean, Branson, I thought, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought Roderick looked good. Roderick looked good. ETN looked yeah. damn good. Like he looked smooth. He's so Paul exposed. looked good. And then don't I forget, love, uh, I love his Branson change Robinson. of speed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who, ETN? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love oh, yeah. to be able to have that change of speed in the backfield that we really need it, you know what I mean? Because we got two big mm-hmm. backs. I mean, Paul's a little shaky, too. He can get up, get after it. So. Um, but, oh. yeah, ETN looked great. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, I shoot, they say some good cool. players. I mean, Dan Jackson. Uh, who, who's that? Oh, Dan, Dan Jackson's a safety, Dan. baby. White boy safety. Hell yeah. yeah. He was flying. He was flying around. She well, Dan, around. Dan's been there for 10 years. He better be flying around. He knows the damn defense. Let's go, Dan Jackson. <laughs> Friend of TPL, I love Dan. Dan's the man. Uh, Dan was the one for for those who don't remember, took the block when Keeley returned it for the touchdown against Alabama. Dan's the one that like laid out his body to get Keeley in the end zone. So uh, forever, forever grateful for that play from Dan Jackson. All right, we're, quick, quick, quick question, real quick. I get my thoughts for a million dollars. Which one are you taking? Brock Bowers to go 10 plus catches for 100 plus yards in a game in rookie season, or Scotty Scheffler to shoot under par in his next four rounds? Scotty Scheffler. Scotty Scheffler. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. God, he's so he's a tough for them, for them uh, tight ends in the league, man. He, he they, don't get me, they don't get that many targets, I feel like. It's so hard. Unless like, you're Kelsey. 10 targets is a lot. 
That's a lot, a lot of targets. Um, I'm like my my overall thoughts kind of walking away. I, I agree with both you guys. Like, I thought it was one of the best spring games I've honestly ever seen. Like, Kirby yeah. does not mess around. I've covered a lot of spring games, I've watched a lot of spring games. You know, some teams do weird formats. You know, some teams the ones are done after the first half, and then there's a bunch of backups to play in the second half. It was literally ones versus ones, twos versus twos for the entire game. When's the last time you saw a starting quarterback throw over 50 times in a spring game? That's what Carson it. did over 50 times. Like they were getting after it. Um, I thought the defense got after it. I thought the offense made plays. It was one of the most, if not the most competitive spring game you will ever see. Those dudes were freaking gigantic. I, we met with Mike Hell the day before coaches meetings, players meetings, and I, I've seen him from afar and great kid talking to, talked with him and Carson shaking his hand, massive, massive hand, massive body and seen him on the field. He's a freaking avatar. They got first rounders all over the place. Um, so I thought oh, once yeah. again, overall, an absolute monster day. Uh, my MVP right here, King Brooks got it. Dom love it. Can crack no, 1K no, no. this season? Um, I think so. It, it, everything you heard from Carson yeah. Beck was he was he, he was loving him, and you you saw that in the game, guys. Yeah. I just no. he was going to get it no matter yeah, he, he wasn't wide open. He was making contested catches. Mm -hmm. That's what you want as a quarterback. Knowing you can throw it anywhere in that window, he's gonna make plays for you. And that was huge. And you gotta give Gunner Stockton. Yeah. He he was out there ripping. I'm glad to get that many reps for him too. Uh -huh. so All right. He hasn't had those reps. Don't the past say week. ripping it. Don't hey. Uh -oh. Don't let's, let's get let's 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 get this thought from from No Sean. Obviously, right now Georgia has three scholarship quarterbacks, but Gleesey didn't play, yep. uh, which was great for Gunner. I mean, to get that many reps in a spring game as a backup quarterback, mm -hmm. like I remember, I, he probably got more reps than I ever did as a starter. No doubt. Where should Georgia fans feel right now? Knock on wood. La knocking on wood right now. If if something did happen to fifteen, where, mm -hmm. where what's your comfort what level pre to pre to post pre to post based on what you saw? Are you are you more are you feeling better than what you did possibly? What are your expectations for what Gunner's gonna look like, No Sean? And of course, No Sean's service goes to crap because he doesn't want to answer the question. No, I, I'm not very comfortable. I know. What what is up with my service tonight? This is ridiculous. I was going to the living room. This is ridiculous. Anyway, mm. um now nah, my comfort level is not very high. It, it, it's it's low, man. Um yeah, he made some really good throws. I thought he was on time, um, but but a lot of the time, I didn't see that 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 sling that 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 bullet like you would see from Carson, like you would even see um, from some of the other quarterbacks we had. Man, I mean, it just wasn't the zip. But that of I course, you're, I mean, Car 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 Carson is, a, like, is, is yeah, but Carson's a he started last year, and Carson's a bona fide first round talent quarterback. Like, no doubt. there's going to be a drop. I'm just yeah. saying, like, but I think, I don't drop. think like you I don't think saying George the is a contender. Thing. Go ahead. I, yeah. I don't think Georgia's not a contender um, if Gunner's playing. But I'll say that. But you didn't have that. You felt better with Carson behind Stetson than you do with um, Stockton behind Carson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because I've always you knew believed if, Carson if, is, a, is a legit NFL quarterback. I mean, Carson is going to be possibly the number one quarterback in the draft. So what about Stockton? What about Stockton then? I think he's good. Um, I don't think he's Carson. Carson's special. Carson's gifted. Carson is is the first time you watch him throw. He's got the body. He's got the arm. He's got all everything you want from a quarterback. Maybe not the four, five, four, six speed, but everything else. Carson is a a, a created player, NFL quarterback. Gunner's not built like that. Gunner may not have those guys, but there's other intangibles. Like I don't look like Carson Beck. I can't throw it like Carson Beck. I'm built a lot like Gunner was. You are, and I probably say I like I'm, I probably have the same arm strength as Gunner, so yeah. like you can still win with a guy that maybe that to me shit. doesn't Don't look like an NFL guy. Yeah, no, I think that's plenty good. of yeah. But my top level is not high. Mm. All right. Well, we don't know how right. he is in the huddle. Can he make those calls? Because we haven't seen it. Like yeah. that's what you trust a quarterback. Mm. Like the more reps you gave back, hey, he flourished. Like mm. you got to see that guy take those quality reps with the quality starters. Because we we're never gonna know what we got, but yes, we know who the guy is. 
Yes. Beck is the absolute stud, and we want him out there every week. Not hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, I do want to go to the running backs real quick, and and you know, a lot of people ask me like, "Oh, is ETN playing? Is ETN playing? Is ETN playing?" I was like, I, I I think he is, and I think he you know had maybe missed a couple of practices because of of what happened off the field, but yeah. We, I feel like we've missed no shot. We've missed that type of running back the past two years. Like two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, guys like James Cook, guys that could catch the ball in the backfield was a huge part of the offense. It was like Brock Bowers and the running backs. Like that's kind of what we built the offense on. And then it felt like we've, we haven't had that guy that could be the leader in the running back room, but also catch balls out of the backfield. Does he have a chance to be pretty special watching him? No shots. Just, just. Absolutely. No shots frozen over there. <laughs> I think he brings an extra level of juice for the offense. Yes. You can't. <laughs> no shots. They're in too high the whole time if ETN's in the game. No shots plumb out of uh, excuses over there, according to his hat for his uh, his uh, his Wi Fi tonight. Hold on. Bro. Uh, no. Yeah, let me uh -oh. let me go somewhere else. Give me a second. I'm over All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna postpone oh, the running back talk. We're gonna go to the offensive line talk here. Uh, we'll get back to ETN and those guys. But the offensive line, Ben, obviously there's there's huge expectations. I mean, right. Carson came out and told us that these guys are gonna win the Joe Moorhead Award this year. Yes. Uh, Kirby obviously put the brakes on that. Like, hey, they got to go out there and perform. No doubt. I would say maybe a little bit disappointed, but it's hard to say like you're disappointed when you're going against that defensive line. Like, exactly. you're going against maybe one of the best defensive lines in the country next year. So like. How do you judge that? Yes, um, you protect it. I know they had some squeeze through on some blitzes. But overall in the spring, they know exactly what we're doing, and we know what they're doing. They have the veterans over there getting Stackhouse back, mm -hmm. uh, having Mikhail over there. So they have studs, and that's what we wanted to see, guys to hold up in the run, get after the passer. That's what we're trying to get our defense to be like. And so that's, that's good on good yep. over and over again. That's what, that's what we want to see. We don't want to come out there and see our O line dominate the whole spring game. If that's the no. case, we got an issue. Yes. So I love the competitiveness of it. And that makes me think, hey, that's Georgia football right there. It's good on good. And we went out there and both teams went, got after each other. Do you feel like, because I do feel like there's a lot of bad balls, and Carson Beck is not a guy that, that gets a lot of balls batted yeah. down. Big kid can you know get his arm up, yeah. all that. I was thinking, I was like, why are there so many bad balls? And I was like, well, as a defensive lineman, if I know I can't sack the quarterback because I can't hit him, hands up. yeah, you usually tend to get your hands up. So when you're playing in a scrimmage game where you can't sack Carson, the next best thing you could do is kind of slow down rushing and just put your hands up. It's like, would you – was that the bigger thing? And you're like, was that – is that the answer? For all those wondering, like, why the hell were there so many batted balls, was it that or was there something maybe else going on? No, when you know you can't get home, that's the only way you, that's just another way you can affect the quarterback. Mm -hmm. And I know their D line coach, he is harping on, hey, how do you affect the quarterback? You get into the inside of the pocket, you're getting your hands on balls. Because when you get your hands on the ball, that creates turnovers. And that's yep. what Georgia defense needs this year. We need to cause mm -hmm. more turnovers, get the ball in the offensive hand. If you can do that, and you can see all spring, they're harping on, hey, how can we affect this quarterback? Is mm -hmm. it strip sex? Is it, hey, is it causing fumbles after the run? Is it getting your hands on balls? So you see the emphasis come to life, and I'm – hey, that's part of it. Yeah. And you want to see that? Hey, so that's the whole thing. You're going to see Searles in there. They're going to do push-pull drills. They're going to do different things that you don't do to your own guys in a scrimmage game. You're not going to cut them. You're not going to punch mm -hmm. them nowhere when they jump up. Mm -hmm. so keep it clean, and on Saturday, they'll take care of that. Yeah, bet, 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 Ben during games, I, the amount of times I heard, oh, oh. Of, you know, someone trying to jump and bench oh, right wow. there where the sun don't shine. You knock them there, they ain't gonna jump again, or you just cut their ass. No, no shot in a new spot. I like actually like the new spot. You look a lot more nice. professional. That's the office, man. You know, you've been holding out on us. You've been holding on, on us. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I need yeah, to figure out how to do it. in that big chair. How do I do? I need to figure out how to do a poll. <laughs> can I do a poll? I can do a poll somehow. Uh, if anyone knows how to do a poll on here. I do want to pull. Do we like Noshan's current situation or his previous situations for office space? Man. Um, I like the jerseys in the background. The I sweet do. Jersey has. I like whatever has better service so you're not freezing. That's what I like. <laughs> um, Last one on the offensive line, then we'll no. get Noshan back. With I'm, the, with I'm the about to get a new uh, – uh, uh. You need to get some damn Wi-Fi. Uh, Jared Wilson. 
first time in front of the fans, replacing SVP. Right. Um, I know you're high on him, man. Like, wait, any any big highlights from from the new uh, new guy giving Carson the ball? Yeah, I can't wait to see him. The thing where he's going to shine this year is, hey, we're going to get ETN the ball in space with screens. You can pull him. We can do so many things with him. So I'm excited to get him out in space and, hey, do the toss out of the gun, do all the stuff you can – because he is like your Kelsey of athletic Mm -hmm. centers. He's not your big bruiser like I, David Andrews, Vince uh, said. So it's a different type. And with that, it comes more explosive plays. You can do so much more with him. And I'm excited. Yeah. I do agree, Kobe. I was a little scared, too, when Tate fell back on Carson. I was like, oh, that's the last thing you want to see. That's the reason why a lot of coaches don't go good on good uh, for, for the majority of a spring game. All right, no, Sean is back. Let's get to the running backs. To me, that were, there, was, there was a couple positions that I wanted to focus on when I was calling the game, running backs being one of them on the offense, DBs on that side of the football. Um, and I think we all walked away feeling pretty damn good, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. We got a stable of backs in there. Everyone was running the ball hard. Um, we had that change of pace, like we said earlier, with ETN, um, you know, giving us that that burst out the backfield, catching the ball out the backfield. I thought it was just an overall good day by the backs. Um, and actually, I mean, it don't matter which back is going to be in there this year. I feel real confident about it, especially running behind that, that old line like Ben was talking about. Mm-hmm. I just think that – ETN reminds me so much of Swift. He's – He's so elusive. Mm-hmm. He can, he can, you can hand it to him in between tackles. You can just, he can do it all for you. And mm-hmm. we needed somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought, I thought, I thought that question was answered. I thought that you, you walked away saying, okay, Georgia RBU, which I think a lot of us would agree that Georgia is definitely in contention, if not RBU, when you look at the history of the great running backs, including Noshon that has played at, at, at the university. And it, it, I feel like there's been a lull for a couple of years where, we have guys that are highly rated guys, but they necessarily haven't produced. And then you look at the guys we have had this year, and it's kind of funny that our best running back may be a former Gator. Like, how weird is that? Like, does that <laughs> did that did that did that jump out at all to you, Notion or Ben? Like, the guy that is maybe our best running back was a Gator a year ago. Hmm. I'm glad he's on our team. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that. <laughs> way. I, mean, I, I didn't think about it's that. Weird, way, I you, but. I know, I know, but I, mean, I feel like Andrew, you know, Paul's gonna give him a run for his money. I like the way he runs, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, that, like now that you say that, that is really weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I made, but yeah, that, I made sure I told him before the did. game. Yeah, I was like, hey, what? man, you look so much better in red and black than orange and blue. So. No doubt. Uh, he looked, he looked, <laughs> for real. I'm sure he likes running behind Georgia's offensive line compared to what he had at Florida as well. So. Um, receivers, I thought looked great. I thought the tight ends obviously didn't get a lot of love in the game, but you know, we, we talked about Dom mm-hmm. Levitt. I thought he looked great. Um, oh. Anthony Evans showed some speed. Uh, and then the Colby Young kid. What about Colby? What about Colby Young? Yeah. Woo, that's what I just said. Colby Young, go for the oh, there was yours, no Sean. Gotta, Wax poetic about him. No, I got oh man, I gotta. I'm definitely getting new internet after this for sure because I'm pissed off right now, but besides <laughs> that. Now, Kobe, I mean, having that threat in the, in the red zone, man, he can go up and get that thing. It's going to give uh, some DBs some real problems this year. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And being able to spread it to the other guys, you know, in that wide receiver core, I think it's going to be a real dominant um, yeah. position group this year with the wide receivers. I mean, yeah, I think Dom love it and Rara year two. And we saw what Dom looked like. Rara made a nice catch as well. Mm-hmm. Kobe Young looked great. Anthony Evans, mm-hmm. I thought it's going to be pretty damn good. His speed. Uh, obviously, Dylan Bell. We know what what kind of a freak athlete he's going to be. Um, what about Smith, old boy from Vanville? Another... Yeah, I think he's still getting going a little bit. You know, I think I think I think it's easy for Kobe to flash because Kobe's such a big presence and can just yeah. dominate in the red zone. You know, so you can limit the playbook for him, and he's still going to go out there and dominate. I think London may take a little bit more time to learn the playbook. So, I mean, overall, guys, you know, as we look at this offense, quarterback, elite, running backs you know, deep with a variety of guys, maybe the best mm-hmm. offensive line in America. Uh, and I think you feel really good with the skill on the outside. Like there should be no excuse that this could be one of the better offenses in the country this year. Correct. I agree. Yeah. yeah. For sure. All right. Flip it over I the agree. other side. Defense. Um, 
the 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 one of the big issues last year, Ben, was was our inability to set the edges. Yep. Teams were really good on the outside running it. And talking with the coaching staff, they feel like a lot of the guys from a year ago have you know matured. A lot of the you know four yep. and five star freshmen that you saw playing the game, and then Michael Williams is going to kind of move around a little bit. Um, did you see that speed and size difference? And I know Georgia didn't run the ball a ton, but you right. know, did you see that improvement of you know at least with the front seven? Yeah, I think they came to play. They were flying around. We're very fast on the inside at backers. The edges, Michael's a mm-hmm. stud. Yeah. Um, so I think that comes with it too. Like knowing your rundown, the older you are in this system, you'd be like, hey, this is a rundown. This is a pass down. So you can anticipate a little more. It's, it slows down for you the older you are. So I'm, I'm ready to see the upside for that defense this year mm-hmm. and get back to the, the Georgia way of stopping the run and getting after the quarterback. Mm-hmm. No, Sean, you had to go against the linebackers all the time, middle linebackers, whether it's in, in uh, protection, whether it was in route running, whatever it was. Like you're, you're, that's 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 kind of your matchup. Uh, CJ Allen, year two, is still crazy enough. I mean, dude's still a freshman. He's still considered a freshman. Uh, okay. Talk about the importance of just you going against middle linebackers. How a elite guy at that spot can can really make or break a defense. I mean, that's the quarterback of the defense, you know what I'm saying? So um, you want a guy like that on your team that is going to be making all those plays and then flying around like he did from sideline to sideline. And he got a pick in the game. You yeah. know what I mean? So he showed you that he got the hands. Then he's going to fly around and, and get a couple tackles as well. Um, and, you know, for, from getting those little starts there towards the end last year, I think really helped his confidence, man. So he's going to come into this mm-hmm. season and everyone's going to know who C.J. Allen is at the end of the season. Oh, yeah. No, I think he's he's all American quality. Um, Robert, I need to know in the chat, how is my second favorite quarterback and my favorite? I had, I had a capitalized favorite running back doing. What about your favorite? First off, who's your favorite quarterback? And and where's Ben in the ranking of centers? Because Ben is like definitely top, you know, top three center of all time in Georgia history. Come on now. We the O line, we yeah, get no yeah. love. It's okay. No love. How would you rank Georgia <laughs> offensive linemen of all time? I mean, because you're there. I'm as average as cake, bud. No, no, don't be humble, Ben. I don't know uh, enough Georgia history, so I don't know. I know you and David. That's about all I know. Centers? Centers. <laughs> Who are some other elite centers in, in Georgia history? I'm lucky. I had two of the best. I had you and David, two guys that, I mean, David's creeping up on double-digit years in the NFL. You had double-digit years in the NFL. I mean, I don't think we could say a, a lot about a lot of centers in Georgia history. Yeah, we've had a lot of good offensive linemen. Yeah. Oh, centers. Son, oh centers. 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 I'm talking about centers. <laughs> Fernando. I love Fernando. Velasco. Yeah. yeah. Fernando. Fernando. Fernando is my dog. I come in right after him, and he played in the league for a while. Mm-hmm. Now he's with the Fal- he was with the Falcons as their personnel guy. So got to give my boy Fernando some love. Um. Yeah. But me and my son David, yeah. we hold it down for a while. Who has been like the elite one of the past decade? Would you say in the league or college? College, but like who's who's I'm trying to remember like who's a center that has moved on from Georgia's in the NFL? Me and David, yeah. See, Ben Jones, greatest center in Georgia history, boys and girls. Who Ben Jones? Ben Jones. (laughs) Um. One of you said a little bit shit. I think it was notion on the, the chat. My I talked about running backs being a position that I had to, you know, want to keep my eyes on for the game. DBs was number two, especially because Malachi wasn't playing in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see like what does that side look like? You got a bunch of youth, a bunch of guys that played, you know, mop up duty last year. Um, uh, just not a lot of starting experience in general, besides you know, Everett on the outside and and Malachi who wasn't playing in the game. Um is that still going to be, I would say, number one concern for Georgia overall is what that secondary is going to look like, no, Sean? Bob yeah, for me, um, my fault. <laughs> yeah, def- I think for me, uh, there was, like I said, in the game, there was a oh, crap. Is it still doing it? Goodness gracious. You're not bad. We can hear you. You can roll with yeah. it. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. All right, I'm just gonna roll in. 
Um, then I, there was a couple of plays in the game where, you know, uh, you know, either the receiver dropped it or he came down with it, right? So I, I want to see them a little more aggressive on the outside, um, get a little couple more breakups, of course. Um, but I think out of all the positions on both sides of the ball, that was just the, the concern, especially going into the game, but then seeing it in the game uh, firsthand. But, you know, those guys are going to get their reps. They're going to get better. You know, uh, Kirby ain't going to let them boys fall um, very low. So he'll get them yeah. right. Ben, let me, let, me, let me rephrase it like this. Because I'm sure you've gone against teams that that maybe were a little bit weak at the secondary, and I know that's not maybe your main focus. Yeah. Um, you you know, but over you still scout the entire defense and how the team, you know, how yeah. the defenses work. And I'm not saying Georgia's DBs are bad by any chance. Like I think this is a bunch of very talented. I'm just saying it's it's yeah. young, it's inexperienced. That's all I'm saying. And they could end up being one of the best in the second. They could be one of the best in the country next year, and I wouldn't be surprised just because they're so talented. It's yeah. just we don't know until we see it week after week. But seeing what the front seven did, would you anticipate a little bit more lighter boxes? Like, is Georgia good enough up front to play in a lighter box and play a little bit more too high safeties? I think so. I think getting the veterans, getting Stackhouse back, and getting the meat in the middle, it's in there to stop the run. And you have backers that can cover really well, so you don't have to put a dime safety in there. So you're able to do a lot of different things. They're going to disguise. They're going to cover. And if they come up, make tackles, getting third and long, and it comes with confidence. Hey, you getting third and long and let them eat them up on the D-line. And that's mm. you don't want to be third and short, third and manageable, so the ball's out the hands quick. You want to get your pass rushers in the game and help out your DBs. And Chase Daniels, we do love you. Chase Daniels. Uh, Chase, is, you know, my kid caught a couple snippets of the game, you know, and, and watched, obviously, the Missouri spring game, and it might be a little bit scared, but – Guess what, Chase? Missouri doesn't have to play Georgia this year, so we're, we're good oh, to go. That's great. Yeah, n- new SEC. Missouri don't got to face Georgia anymore, even though I tell you what, if there has been a kryptonite for Georgia, it's almost been Missouri the past two years because they've almost beaten them both hey, Those boys are good. I give them credit. I know. Those little Tigers up there are good. Oh, they're damn good. I had their spring game a month ago, and, like, I walked away saying, like, that's a playoff team. Like, that is a playoff freaking no team Sean's, right there. No so. going to get both his teams in the playoffs this year. Yeah. Yep, that is No Sean's second favorite team. I, I like their colors. I like their coach. I like their quarterback. I like their receiver. So uh, I think they'll be in there. Yeah. All right. So I think overall, you know, just to kind of wrap it all up right here, and we appreciate everyone once again jumping in with us. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, overall, I walked away saying, and I and I, listen, I haven't watched all the spring games. I got to go back and watch a bunch of them, especially some of the elite teams. But I walked away saying, like, there's no reason why this team can't win a national championship. No reason at all. Like, what was your confidence before and then after on, like, a level of, of one being eh to, like, 10, this is a national championship, 100% team if they stay healthy? What was it pre and what was it post this game uh, been first? Yeah, um, seeing what our offense can do, this is going to be one of the years we're going to light up the scoreboard. Our yep. quarterback, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to – it brings me back to the last – was it 2022 when we won it? We scored how many points a game? We're going to go out there and score points this year, and our defense is going to do enough to win. Like, they're yep. going to go back or having some – if we get ahead in the game, we're just going to put the throttle down on it. Mm-hmm. And that's what I like. Having a quarterback who can manage the game now, he, we, everybody has faith in him. Now we got backs in the backfield. We can run the clock out so we can control the whole game how we want it. And I think this is the best offense we've had. Since Stetson was in. Stetson had a lot of weapons. This mm-hmm. is going to be a special year. I hope so. God. I was saying that last year, I thought their weapons would be great, but they just all kept getting hurt. No, Sean, level of confidence pre, post. Uh, give, me a, give me a ranking. Yeah. Yeah, going into it, um, I was kind of it was kind of low. Uh, I was kind of worried because we lost a lot of players last year. Um, but, you know, I shouldn't have because a lot of those guys got their opportunity last year um, a little bit before the end of the season. But um, we're confident now. <laughs> I'm super yeah. confident now. I'm seeing them boys out there and competing. Um, it's going to be a fun year for the boys. 100%. All right. Uh, I, I do want to leave with this real quick uh, since we were talking about the goats for Georgia. Uh, we'll stick just to the offensive side of the football since we are offensive guys. Uh, we, will, we will be sure to get – more defensive guys on our Letterman show, but um, 
Uh, oh, sorry. Name your all time. We'll go to the comment before from, from Robert. Name your all time Georgia team. Mm. Uh, quarterback, I'm going Stafford. Receiver, I'm going AJ. Tight end, Brock. Offensive guy, Ben Jones. Of course. Running back, Herschel. Sorry, of course. Ben? Pull back, Sean Chappis. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Ooh. You got to put Stenchcomb. Stenchcomb is my guy through and through. Which one, Matt or John? I like them both. <laughs> oh, I like Matt. Yeah. I give it to Matt. Okay. All right. What about the other positions? We're doing what position? <laughs> Defense. You're doing all the positions. No quarterback, receiver, tight end. Oh, I got to do them just like you. Receiver, just like me. All right, receiver AJ. Yep. Uh, quarterback Stafford. He taught me how to snap. Sure. Give him credit. Yeah. Stafford's a beast. Um, tight end. You got to go, Brock. He's special. Yeah. Um, running back. <laughs> <It's so different. laughs> like, I mean, I love Gurley too. Damn, I love him. Yeah, I didn't like. I had Notion, then had Harton was my roommate and running back. So yeah. like, it was a big difference there. Mm -hmm. So for me, you got to go Herschel. What he because everybody knew they were going to hand the ball off to him, mm -hmm. and he still was able to run it. No yeah. shine, your number two. Sorry, I love you. No shine. Yeah. Um, who else? What other positions we got? I think you hit them all. All right, no shine, you're up. Every uh, we'll clump offense linemen together, but then give you give receiver, tight end, running back, quarterback. Man, way too static. You can you? God, I'm just gonna have no shine type it. Yeah, yeah. It was the same thing as you boys. Okay, okay. It was the same thing as you boys. I, I, would, ch I would change uh, Herschel out, though, I think. For who? Yeah. Yeah, you? <laughs> For who? For who? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, for Todd. For Todd, I think. I think I'm going to put Todd in there. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, I like the list though. I do like the list. I will say that's pretty good. I will say this though: if Carson wins the championship this year, I can't wait to ask Bobo this. I didn't ask him this in the meeting. I did ask Bobo what it's like that his his quarterback drives a nicer car than him now, and if that's weird or not. He kind of laughed it off, but um. <laughs> He probably makes uh, more too. I know. I didn't want to say that either. I didn't want to like piss him off. So, um, but I do want to know eventually at the end of the season who he thinks is better. Ooh. I think that's going to be if Carson you. wins a natty, I think that's going to be tough. Carson may end up being just because he's he's Stetson's up there because he won national championships. Obviously, in everyone's mind, he won two natties. I mean, you're just in a but if Carson wins a natty plus is a you know. If Georgia wins a national championship, Carson's in New York and win a Heisman is probably going to be the number one quarterback taking the NFL draft. Yeah, like you you, you move yourself into Georgia that wins a national yes. championship. It's cause of Carson. Are you, like yes. Georgia didn't win it because yes. of Stetson. It was a lot of talent. The are y'all win is are y'all already? What are y'all already Carson. taking? Put Carson above um, Stetson already. I'm saying if he wins a national championship, Carson is. Number one pick in the NFL draft, so he's Stafford with a national championship. Okay. Mm. I mean, that's mm. hard to beat. Okay. Stetson's a winner. You gotta give. You gotta. Give I, love Stetson Stetson. I love Stet. I love Stet. I love Stet. I love Stet. Love Stet. Okay. Stet's one of the great, maybe the greatest of all time for me. I'm just saying, like, if I had to build a team, though, Stafford's talent is undeniable. Mm -hmm. and I think Carson has very similar talent to. To uh, Stafford, and then if he wins a championship okay. on top of that, I think that's just whew, that's some special stuff right there. Um, yes, I think we all agree Stetson is, as of right now, the goat. Um, that's it for us. Appreciate you boys. Uh, no, Sean, man, I think we'll do another show in like two weeks. You get two weeks to figure your crap out. Get your get your Wi-Fi going. Uh, ben will. Jones. No Sean Moreno, Aaron Murray. We appreciate everyone. Once again, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A lot of content coming out at Georgia, Tennessee, and Clemson this week. So make sure you check all those out. Share it with your friends that are at those other universities as we continue to grow here 
at the Players Lounge, and we will check back with you probably, I would say, in a couple of weeks. So until then, go dogs. Go dogs. <laughs>